Newton's laws of motion. Newton's first law of motion. Let's try this. Fill a glass with sand. Keep a piece of cardboard on it. Keep a five rupee coin on the cardboard. Now strike the cardboard hard using your fingers. Observe what happens. Answer: The cardboard moves forward and the coin falls in the glass. Balance and unbalance force. An object continues to remain at rest or in a state of uniform motion along a straight line unless an external unbalanced force acts on it. Newton's first law explains the phenomenon of inertia that is the inability of an object to change its state of motion on its own. It also explains the unbalanced forces which cause a change in the state of an object at rest or in uniform motion. Newton's second law of motion. Let's try this. A. Question number one. Ask your friend to drop one plastic and one rubber ball from the same height. Answer. The plastic ball was easier to catch. Question A. Two. Which ball was easier to catch and why? Answer A. Two. The mass of the plastic ball is much less than that of a rubber ball. When the velocity is the same, the lighter body produces less impact than a heavier body. Let's try this. Question B1. Ask your friend to throw a ball towards you at slow speed. Try to catch it. Answer B1. The ball at slow speed could be caught with greater ease relative to the ball at high speed. Question B2. Now ask your friend to throw the same ball at high speed towards you. Try to catch it. Which ball could you catch with greater ease? Why? Answer B2. A ball with slow speed produces less impact than a ball with high speed. The rate of change of momentum is proportional to the applied force and the change of momentum occur in the direction of the force. Momentum has magnitude as well as direction. Its direction is the same as that of velocity. In SI system, the unit of momentum is kg meter per second while in CGS system it is gram centimeter per second. If an unbalanced force applied on an object causes a change in the velocity of the object, then it also causes a change in its momentum. The force necessary to cause a change in the momentum of an object depends upon the rate of change of momentum. Momentum P. Momentum is the product of mass and velocity of an object. P equals to mv. Momentum is a vector quantity. Suppose an object of mass m has an initial velocity u. When a force F is applied in the direction of its velocity for time t, its velocity becomes v. That is, the initial momentum of the object equals to mu, its final momentum after t equals to mv. That is, the rate of change of momentum equals to change in momentum upon time. That is, rate of change of momentum equals to mv minus mu upon t equals to m and bracket v minus u upon t equals to ma. According to Newton's second law of motion, the rate of change of momentum is proportional to the applied force that is ma alpha f that is f equal to k ma k equals to constant of proportionality and its value is 1 f equals to m into a.